Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you how to uh, toggle different uh, masks through the uh, uh, UI on the screen. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so let's create a new Spark AR file and then let's switch the camera to face to yourself. In second, let's add a face tracker. Okay, then let's add all the files. Uh, first, we add Joker. And then we add uh, a material of Joker. Okay, then let's drag under uh, under it, and then let's scale up to a hundred. Okay, oh, that's a little scary. And let's change the shade to a hundred percent. Okay, so uh, under mesh, let's change to Joker mesh, and go under it. Okay, so maybe let's place this. Ooh, that looks cool. That's super cool. Okay, cool. Okay, so maybe go a little back. Ooh, nice. Okay, so that's the Joker mesh. Then let's add Jason. Yeah, those two scary horror movie main character. Okay, so Jason, mm -hmm. let's add the match first, and let's add um, texture, Jason's mask. Ooh, okay, so it's Jason's mask. Let's grab it to here. Yeah, okay, so then let's add Jason. Okay, so, and it's really small, so let's add up to 100. Ooh, okay, so, uh, and let's mat the shade to white. Okay, so, mm, okay, so that's kind of, ooh, it's cool, really cool. Okay, so, let's make it like this. Okay, so. Uncheck the visibility and then maybe go a little. Oh, no, this one. Go back a little bit. Ooh, maybe make it larger. Just pretty cool. Love it. Okay, so. Okay, so that's two. And then we need to add UI. So let's go and add uh, a canvas. Okay, so canvas. Um, uh, and then we need to add a square place. Then we need to place our UI inside the square. Our UI is a little bit, the shape looks like this. And we want to place are you I probably around here okay so that's add a material and then that's go to the material and say UI material okay so let's go to UI material and add a new texture to source and then this is our final UI texture so yeah so this is our UI and then our goal is to tab and switch to Jason, either Jason or uh, Joker. So uh, we need an area for our button. It's like a touching area. So we need to add to uh, plane. Okay, so plane one, plane two. Okay, so first one will be Joker, uh, Joker button. And then second one will be Jason button. Okay, 
So Joker and Jason. Let's um, go down and maybe make it smaller. You okay? So basically, we want this to be transparent. It's just like a you know like the the touching area. Once the um, oh, okay, so Joker stay here, and then Jason go over there. Okay, so those two. Okay, we want those two to be transparent. So we add a material and color transparent. Oh, oh. <laughs> transparent. Hey, okay, I don't know how to spell transparent. Okay. okay, so transparent, we want this to be transparent and we want this to apply transparent and then we apply the material to transparent. Okay, so those two are done. And then we need to start using patch editor to do our coding, uh, yeah, visual coding for designers. Okay, so let's go here and uh, since we are going to make for example, like this one, when we tap the J uh, Joker button like this, then you switch to Joker, right? So we want this to be tapped. Then we switch, switch to um, to uh, the mask. Okay, so this is the Joker mask. Okay, we want this to be visible, right? So we want this, so, so go here and go to the front, yellow, and we want this to be visible. So I want to shout out, um, uh, like, uh, I really appreciate uh, my LinkedIn connection help me out to solve this uh, patch editor, uh, like uh, my previous problem. And then I will uh, credit his name uh, under, uh, on the post. Yeah, so th thank you, thanks again. And then that's, let's do it. Okay, so when you, when we tap Joker, this point, then you will turn, turn on the Joker mesh, right? And then uh, when we want Jason, Jason, Okay, so Jason, we want to create another patch. Jason, button. So Jason, button. Okay, Jason, button, and we want to have another switch. So we turn on and then we want Jason mask to show up. Okay, so this is like that. And then um, there's another tricky part because when we tap jo uh, Joker, right? We tap Joker and we want Jason to disappear. So uh, when we hit Joker, this is on and uh, this line means Jason, so Jason needs to be off. And then this one is that uh, when we tap Jason, and then Joker needs to be turned off. So this is kind of like the, the concept of it. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, so let's try it out. Make it touch. Okay, so let's make it. Okay, so we tap Joker, Joker's mask comes up. When we tap um, Jason, Jason mask, Jason's mask comes up. So, and you can see this, the line. See, this is like a Joker, and this is turn off, turn off Jason's mask, and turn on Joker's mask. When we tap uh, Jason, then see, Jason, you see like this one, it's doing things. So it turns off the Joker mask and then turns on the uh, Jason mask. Okay, so you can 
take a look. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.